Capturing the Ender Dragon. Now this isn't as simple as using a boat or minecart like you do for basically every other mod, but it's still surprisingly easy. Let me show you. Alright, so you're going to need building blocks, at least one piece of obsidian, and a water bucket. Now if you're in survival mode, your building blocks should preferably be either obsidian, crying obsidian, endstone, or iron bars, as those are the only blocks that the dragon cannot break. Okay, so your goal is to place that one obsidian directly above the top of the portal, and then once you do that, place the water bucket on that obsidian, and congratulations, you are about to capture the ender dragon. All you have to do now is wait for it to perch. So once the dragon starts perching, it'll simply just get trapped in the water and be stuck on that obsidian, and now you can do whatever you want. If you are going to do this in your world, first thing, probably don't do it if you're in hardcore mode, because the only way to get back is either by dying, or going through the portal, but the portal is only open if you kill the dragon, and the dragon can't be trapped if it's dead. Now the second thing is, make sure you bring an ender chest, because as I said, the only way to get back to the overworld is by dying, so you're going to need to put all your stuff in the ender chest so that you can get back to the overworld and not like lose everything you have. Now you're in the end with only your building blocks, preferably the four that I mentioned earlier, and you can start working on building your cage for the ender dragon. You need to make sure that you build it big enough so that when the dragon like flies around it doesn't destroy all the blocks around you or end up hitting you while you're building it, so be very careful when you're building it. I have two very important notes. When you're building, make sure that you do not cover up the water and do not place any obsidian crying or regular above the obsidian that you originally placed because when you log off the world or leave the end and come back, the dragon will be out of the trap and it'll have to re-perch and once it does it'll be trapped again so that's why you need to leave the water there but if you place obsidian above the one you already have it'll perch on that obsidian and will not be trapped so make sure you don't put obsidian i would suggest using like the bars or the end stone above that for like a roof but do not use obsidian i did that and then i found out that it doesn't get trapped and yeah just don't do that so yeah you can now create the world's greatest minecraft zoo and congratulations you just turn the final boss into a tourist attraction. Now again, make sure you build the box big enough because as you can see what I did, it the dragon destroyed some of my walls and it actually ended up killing me from how close it was, so make sure that you build the box pretty big. Alright, well, I hope this video was useful. If it was, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video, go live, upload a short, do anything that I do, you know, even you you know all this stuff. You know it. So go capture the dragon and get out of here.